Consistency. I'll get it. Maybe. Hey, 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 buddy, how you doing? Oh, hi. How's my favorite me? Look who's home. Oh, did you miss me? Oh, she was asking about you guys the whole time. <laughs> Weren't you? Miss me? Did you were asking. I don't get this kind of attention when I leave. So we'll you have a kid. She won't talk to you at all. Oh, <laughs> wait until they need change, then you'll hear plenty. Which is something I think we ought to do now. You want to come and help me? Oh, gladly. You know, you I even miss changing diapers. You want to come? <laughs> mm, well, you have been away a long time. Come on, sweetheart. Okay. Oh. So it's good to have you back. Really? Well, yeah, it's good to be back. How was Laurelton? The usual. Dangerous. No. No, not really. Well, then it wasn't Laurelton as usual. Actually, it was a very boring trip, Tony. Boring. Wasn't any adventure, any danger, anything. I'm telling you, there was no danger involved whatsoever. I thought that was in your detective contract. No danger, no Frisco. Would you quit worrying about me? Would you join a monastery? If you get off of my back, I will. Okay. So you, um, you didn't have any clues or anything down there? No, nothing. You're just a bundle of information today, aren't you? I wish I had something to tell you. I do. Too. I guess I didn't miss changing diapers as much as I thought. <laughs> yeah. We have to get over to Anna's. Remember, we have oh, to. Yeah. Robert's leaving today. Okay. I was just about to remind you. That. Oh, will you do me a favor? Will you call him and tell him we're on our way? Sure. Come on, baby. See you later. Bye. 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 It's Tony. Is Robert around? Yeah, sure. It's Tony, brother. Oh, thanks, Tony. All right, Doc? You almost packed? I'm getting there. Listen, I'm glad you called. I wanted to say goodbye. Listen, we're... Tanya and I are gonna miss you. Oh, part of me always stays here in Port Charles. Well, next time, just don't take so long before you come back, okay? Well, hopefully next time I drop back, it'll be under more pleasant circumstances. Robert, I just, um, I want you to know that I appreciate you saving my kid brother's life. You know, without you around, there's no telling how much trouble he'd be into. Any kid can take care of himself. Your brother's turned into a good cop. Thanks to you. Listen, give Tanya and the baby my love. Okay. You have a good flight. Adios, amigo. So much for comparing notes, huh? It's not much to go on, is it? You expected anything else from Marlton? No, I didn't. What do you think, Robert? I think that I'm glad this isn't my case. Oh, thank you. Always happy to oblige. <sighs> well, where do we go from here? Back to Lucy Co. Unless you have a better idea. That'd be my ploy. All right, I think we should interview her again later today. We? That... Still including me? It's your case, detective. Yes, ma'am, chief, sir. Well, let's see what she has to say for herself. Well, I can't wait to hear this. Well, let me help you with this. So, I guess this is, uh, so long again, huh? For now. Any last words of wisdom? Why should I bother? You wouldn't follow them anyway. You're right about that. I just thought that maybe a little ground laying, you could come back and say, I told you so later. I look forward to that. So would I. Listen, Robert, uh, I I'd appreciate it if you stayed close. I know you have a different life other than poor Charles, but I'd like to see you more than once every generation or so. Well, maybe every few months, the way things are going. Well, there's nothing I'd like better. I look upon this as passing the mantle over to you. I can't think of anybody better to carry on what I've started than this guy here. And a hundred of me couldn't fill your shoes. I'm depending on you to be Anna's right-hand man to look out for my daughter. Well, I will. My godfather, I take that position very seriously. And that's one of the reasons I feel confident about leaving. 
Well, I guarantee you don't have to worry about your daughter. You never let anything happen to her. The kid's got more surrogate fathers than anyone I know. She's a very lucky girl. Yeah, and, uh... And I'm a lucky man. I want to thank you for being there every time I needed you. <sighs> he's thanking me, right? I owe him my life, my career, and he's thanking me. Well, maybe it plays both ways. I just, uh... I hope I do you proud. That's all I hope. Every time I do something, I'm going to think to myself, what would he do? You're going to do better than you really think you're going to do. Now, I've got to get out of here, hit the road. I'll drive you to the airport. Uh, I think I'll take a cab. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, you know, we're juicing prison and everything. I've got time on my hands. 